All right. So that uh, teaser trailer that we've gotten with regarding everything with uh, like Tariq and you know the whole gang, right? And from in the trailer, from what it looks like, it seems like um, Carter and his group seems like they inside like Monet's home, like tearing up things, even looking for either her or Drew. Cause it also in the trailer too, it seems like Drew. I don't know if he's in a jumpsuit because it seems like like cops is like taking him away. So uh, maybe he's even in some sort of prison or holding that maybe they're like, they're like taking him away or whatever. So I mean, there's a lot of these things that we're seeing in this trailer. I say, like, all right, that is shaping to be like really interesting. And then Diana seems like she's, I guess, in pain or or, or whatever. So I'm like, okay, but um, because taken away from like episode five and you know regarding like the whole like Diana and uh Tariq uh, business where she was asking him about like um where's Salim, where she was just like asking him like yo like where's Salim at and and he's playing coy like. Well, uh, you, you know, we I was looking for I was looking for you and uh, it is what it is, but I believe she's going to find out that um Salim is dead. So <laughs> and and we we don't know how she's going to take it well with the knowing that he's actually dead and all because it's like um if if things didn't work out with Tariq, it seems like she probably would have like sided with him and maybe probably would have wanted him if not Tariq to be the dad. But, I mean, he's dead, so it's like, there's no uh, proof. Well, the only proof would be, uh, like, the DNA test. Like, if Tariq is, like, really, like, gun hole about this, he, he would get, like, a DNA test to see, like, if the baby's really his or not. I mean, right, for now, like, in episode five, he's just going along with it. And he was having, like, these whole hallucinations of, you know, him and Diana and the kid or, or the son or whatever. But it's just, like, I think in this final uh, season, we will figure out uh, who is the father like is it really Tariq's or is it uh Salim's baby like again we we're going to see right and then um a lot of takeaways is like Carter because Carter's a corrupt cop he's killing uh he doesn't have a problem with killing perps and he seems like he's going to be really gun hole in this final season on trying to get Tariq and also trying to like get the connect as well and then we see in the trailer as well that um I think somebody's holding the gun onto Effie so it probably might be uh carter's gang like his 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 corrupt police officers right it might be them right that's holding like a gun because it's like he's trying to like build up some sort of case on to like gather like, okay who's the players who's helping out like he knows about like the whole tahada family but any more other people that he's gonna like try to like rope in and to like bring them all in but we know from from what he he did in episode five from what we know I don't know if he's going to probably, if all of them is going to get arrested. I think some of them he probably might try to kill, as from what he did before. So, I don't know. And then also, too, it seems like somebody's strangling Tariq. I don't know. Like, just from, like, the clip, um, like, 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 like the guy, like, he has, like, a tattoo. I don't know if that's Zion. It looks like Zion to me, like, because it looks like a tattoo-ish. Like, that's, like, his arm. So, I don't know. It could be Zion. It could be somebody else that's strangling Tariq. So I'm like, yeah, because Tariq is trying to figure out a way of becoming on top, being the alpha, and having everything that he needs. But the problem is, it's like he has a lot to go through, like and for him to like really make it to the top. And how is he? Even, how is he? Will he be able to achieve this goal, knowing that he's going down a path that's that's leading to ultimate destruction? Because he has to literally take out a lot of people. And then he has to have a lot of connecting resources in order for him to have everything that he wants and then potentially uh, raise the baby, right? So that's that's quite interesting as well. And then we see also in the trailer that I guess uh, Braden and Tariq, they, they come in inside someone's home. Well, they busted in somebody's home and then Braden has a gun on somebody. So I'm like, all right, like who is that? Because I know Tariq said he's trying to get leverage. So we know that he's working on Anya right now for him to handle Noma. So we know that. We know that. And other types of uh, leverages that he's going to try to maybe get onto people to maybe try to get like an, an edge on, on what he's trying to do. Because we know Carter is not done with Tariq. And he, he will we will see those two cross paths again. And then something crazy is going to happen. Because like in the trailer said, nobody's really safe. And also, too, I think... The big showdown probably might be between like Davis and Kane because 
as we seen in episode five that uh, Noma, she's kind of like, you know, flexing around, basically <laughs> being the 304 and hopping from Kane to, to Davis. And I think once when maybe Kane finds out about this, right, it's only going to piss him off because he feels that he's with Noma now. So he has like a step ahead rather than having Davis there interrupting and interfering with things. Now, again, if he's going to take his anger out on Noma, we are, we're going to see. Because, like I said before, it's like the only thing you would need to give Kane is like a reason for him to do something. And I think by Noma playing around with like Kane and Davis, I think this might give him a reason to maybe uh, take her out or maybe, yeah, like take her out and then figure with, you know, stealing everything that she has, right? Taking all her money, all her connections, all her resources, right? But... Because right now, he's just a foot soldier, a lovable foot soldier to her, but she doesn't really seem to care. She's just having her, her fix, uh, having, like, two guys fight over her, as we see in the trailer where Kane is looking at um, Davis, and Davis is looking at um, Noma. So I'm like, ooh. Now, uh, for Davis' like, allegiances towards Tariq, I feel like that still would remain because he's not— he seemed like he wasn't the type of person to, like, give up, um, to, like, Tariq and his location or whatever, but— um, you never really know because seeing how this is like the final season, we know what happens to like lawyers. We know what happens to anybody who's an attorney, who's a lawyer, whatever. They don't really, it don't really end up uh, the way you think it would be because Angela died, Proctor died, right? Jenny uh, left. We we don't know where she's at, but but Jenny left. So um, it doesn't really end well for most of these people. And Davis, on the other hand, it might not end well for him either because. Um, Kane, Kane probably might take him out. He probably might take him out or whatever because seeing how Noble is, is playing all these games. So, again, there's a lot of these things that's going to happen. And also, too, like the big question of it all is, I guess, um, that ghost. Is is Ghost really going to return at the end? Because I know maybe some of y'all was, like, disappointed in the uh, mid-season finale about, like, okay, like, Tariq was at the... He was at Truth and no ghosts, no no nothing. And I'm thinking what's probably what's going to happen is I'm thinking like to maybe towards the end, like maybe like that last and final episode, we probably might even see a returning ghost alive or him as a, a ghost in spirit, right? Because, again, I think if they don't do this, 10 years of power, 10-year anniversary of power, and they don't bring back James St. Patrick, you know, they're going to riot. There's going to be a riot. People are going to be so pissed off. Like, yeah, they're going to be like, we're going to see Origins and whatever. But they're like, nah, we want to see him now and alive. So I think it's going to piss off a lot of people if they do this. But I think that was the point. It was the point of really hyping up everybody. To, oh, he like he's a truth. Tariq's at, uh, at truth. He's at truth. But all it was was a hallucination. That wasn't really him at truth. Now, the other question is, will Tariq actually return to truth? Will he be back there and would anything happen, right, uh, of him, you know, looking at things from what he did or whatever to being like, well, now he's finally had everything that he has. He taken out Noma, Zion's whatever at this point in time. But it's just like all of these things that's happening right now is going to be interesting later on. And also the hidden lessons and messages that we've kind of gotten from in episode five on the hallucinations of when – um you know, Tariq was with Diana and they had the kid. And then he was thinking about how, you know, Ghost was wrong for trying to leave when he should have stayed. And, and it's like, well, um, Ghost was right on leaving because you would only end up either dead or in prison. And I think all of this destruction that Tariq is going to do, he's going to probably see towards the end and that maybe it wasn't really worth it at all to, like, cause all of this. And rather just, like, leaving. Because it's like... He's trying to get revenge, and he hasn't forgotten what, you know, what the Tejadas did, what, what Noma's trying to do, and what she almost did. So, he's not forgetting anything, and he wants payback. He wants revenge, and he wants to be the person on top, because it's like when, when Kanan, it's like when, when Ghost was telling Tommy about how um, if he, they would have still stayed under Kanan's leadership, they still would have been corner boys, right? And that's a fact. Because it, Ghost was like, no, put this man away on trumped up charges. And then they basically became leader. Ghost and Tommy became leader. And then when you look at Tariq, throughout the past four seasons, 
Tariq was literally a, a corner boy for people. He was a corner boy for the Tejadas, right? And then he eventually was a corner boy for Noma, right? So it's like he wants to be the person that's no longer a corner boy, and he's the one that's making it. He's the one calling the shots. He's the one that's in control because there's a difference between being a person that's working for somebody and then being a person that's in control because when you look at Ghost and the original power, sure, he was working – for um uh lobos for, yes he was working for lobos but ultimately he still had the final say so when it came down to certain things because his crew and everybody had to like listen to him right like julio like did you, he liked it working for ghost more than tommy because tommy was like much was more crazy and, and he was kind of like a loose cannon but julio was like more trustworthy or well, had more trust in ghost and it was just like all of like Ghost's old crew members and all these people, they they followed him because they, they liked how he was, right? And he was he was different from Tommy. And he was a leader. And even after when everything happened and then when Milan took over and then when Jason was there, yeah, you can still say that Ghost was um still working for people, but at the end of the day, Ghost was still a boss, right? If if you get my drift, like Tariq isn't a boss he's just like again like a corner boy he's just a guy that's working for people and he's not even a sub boss he's not even a sub boss like a boss where it's like all right um you could be a sub boss so that means you in control of everything right but you still have to report to somebody ghost you can say was a sub boss right and then eventually he was becoming the boss towards the ending but again everything was taken away from him at that point and Tariq, he's not even a sub boss he's just an underling he's just an underling for zion as he was an underling for Noma. But as we've seen in this final uh, season, he's going to try to see if he can get underneath all of that and try to become a boss. But he's going to realize that it's going to be much more harder to even do any of that and for him to reach the top to know that he's going to have like a bunch of challenges and threats waiting for him. And with all this, like I said, with all this destruction that at hand, there's a possibility he probably may or may not make it out alive because as Ghost said before, is either dead or, or in prison. That's the only two options that's going to be waiting for anybody. And I think we're going to see a lot of that happen in this final season. Because, I mean, like I said before, it looks like Drew is even maybe in a jumpsuit. Can't really tell because cops is taking him away. Right? I was thinking, like, maybe like a um, like a crazy house. I don't know. I was thinking that, but I, I don't know. It looks like he might be in a jumpsuit. Right? And then Carter, he's not playing any games because he's fighting dirty. And I think, if anything, Sax, if, if Sax was alive, he probably would have liked it working with um carter because carter he's again he's like listen you're gonna give me my cut right you're gonna play fair i'm gonna police the gang members right and i'm gonna police crime in, in, in entirety but if any of y'all kill innocents i'm going to kill you and now and that's his plan but ultimately he does want to reek that's that's his ultimate goal because it's like after when Paz ran to him and telling him about uh the death of um junior it's like he like all right i got you and i'm going to come for Tariq. so again there's a lot of these things that we're going to have to like really look out for in this final season and also too what's going to happen to pause will she return if, if if carter dies or fails will she take it upon herself to try to kill Tariq? right that and, and also too um tasha because i think tasha will return in this final season as well because there's no way there's no way she's going to probably return and i'm thinking maybe carter to probably hold a gun on her to try to lure out Tariq or maybe Noma. Probably be like, all right, where's where's Tasha's location at? Right? And then maybe she could probably hold a gun on to her to be like making Tariq uh put Tariq in submission. Like there's a lot of these things, a lot of twists and turns that we're gonna be waiting for. But like I said, I think the big reveal and all the big surprises is gonna probably happen like towards the final season. But if it doesn't, people will be pissed off about it. But you know, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this trailer. What you guys think of um, what's going to probably happen in this final season regarding maybe Davis, Kane, Drew, uh, Tariq Effie, Noma, Monet, all of them. Like, what you guys think about all those characters and, and they uh, maybe unpending doom. But, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you all in the next one.